Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be joining Ted, Jake, and Nick on their way down to Texas to get ready for turkey season to open up down there. Before we get into the video, I just wanna let everyone know that our M2 vest giveaway ends tomorrow, March 31st. In order to enter that giveaway, just head over to our website, click on the giveaway tab, and then enter your information there. You'll also earn additional entries for every $25 spent on the website. That's enough of me talking, let's get into the action. Long drive to Texas today. See y'all when we get there. Compound. There he is right there. Fancy to see him here. Get washed on, buddy. I'm glad y'all made it. I got a little worried there for a bit. Texas! <laughs> Doesn't look much different, does it? No. Looks pretty much almost exactly the same. It looks southern. Warbs in there, you know, looking away. editing away. Me and Pop are sitting back here on the back porch watching baseball and enjoying a beautiful Sunday. What? Easy in that water pool. <laughs> One stuffed potato at a time, man. <laughs> I'll probably have some of these at some point again. Oh, some of them cookies, huh? What do we all got going on in here? A whole lot of good. Color. A lot, whole lot of colors. Vegetable colors, potato colors, mac and cheese colors, stuffed chicken colors. And that's all you need to know. <laughs> Homemade mac. Homemade mac and cheese. Yeah, that, right that there. stuff is gonna make your tongue slap your brains out there. That's good stuff. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you just sit down and eat for if I'm gonna film you. Oh, that's sweet, boy. Mmm, ring is in the air, baby. Big ol' butt. What are they? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. There they go. That's cold right there. Like. Working them over like a cutting horse. <laughs> High fence things. We're in Longhorn country now. It's starting to look more and more like Texas. Nick just dropped uh, Warb off at the airport. We're about to meet him at his deer lease here, and I think we're going to try to smash some hogs here in the next couple days and maybe uh, try to do a little turkey scouting for his dad. I think it opens up on the first here, so we'll be out listening for turkeys to gobble as well. Hopefully Dana can put something down opening weekend. Mm -hmm. They've been getting a bunch of pictures of turkeys and hogs on their cameras, so. We're gonna have some turkey tags to fill here coming up. Uh, might get a little bonus hog to bring home. My dad would be pretty tickled if I bring some hog meat home last time I did that. I got a feeling you're gonna have some hog meat to bring, <laughs> bring home to us. <laughs> it looks like it. Texas. Welcome to the deer lease. Thanks, man. I'm glad to be here. This <laughs> looks like a beautiful place. <laughs> Good to be home, huh? Oh, it feels so good. We already welcomed ourselves right in. Good. Went and had a, a little walk through. We saw all the history. You've hunted here for a long time, haven't you? 20 years. Pretty sure I saw a scorpion go into the house just a minute ago. Good chance there's probably some in the house, too. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll get unloaded then. What's the plan? Are we gonna kill something tonight, you think? Yeah, I think we're gonna try. <laughs> I think we unload, hop in the truck, and take a little spool around and see what's going on figure out what we're gonna do for the evening. Probably see some turkeys while we're out there. Sandy stuff. What's this feeder? This is a feeder made specifically for turkeys. Just fill up this bin, top opens up. It's got a little slit and it's just gravity fed. And got it to where, so they'll just pitch up there on top of it and scratch corn and maize out or whatever and so they can get up there and eat and not be harassed, things like that. They seem to like it. It's pretty cool watching them fly up on top of it and walk around up there and eat. You ever shot one off the top of that thing? I have not, but my granddaddy did one time. <laughs> he shot it right off the top of it when he was, I think he was 92 when he shot that one. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, you kind of fired One, up. One, two, three. <laughs> kind of fired up. Okay. That's a Rio Grande, then? That's Rio Grande, baby. <laughs> you gotta love that. Well, that was just too easy. Yeah, they're loving this weather. Hit a screech and see what they do. Oh, they like that too then. That's a wad. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like three or four. If you look out that way, you can see the opposite ridge and in there is where that big canyon's at. And you come sit right here in the mornings 
or in the evenings too, and you'll just hear them gobbling all up and down it, as far as you can hear, really. They kind of moved in. <laughs> Everybody gets a gobble. Oh yeah, they'll hit that tail. Pull it next to his rifle stand, and as soon as he got out of the truck, me and Jake heard one gobble down in the draw between his deer feeder and that turkey feeder. Oh wow, that's got, close. Got out and crow called, owl hooted, every, they're just still gobbling on their own. And it sounds like there's three or four of them. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I told him we we just left the bend and come up here and I was telling we, there's tracks at the bend which is good. And yep. I was telling them like where we normally hear them. I said we're gonna get out here on this hill. We might get to get one to gobble. And it's just yeah. too easy. Too soon, easy. As soon as we got out. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta hate that. I mean they've gobbled four or five times since I got on the phone with you. Wow. I think we're about, cool. we're about to lay eyes on these ones. That would be awesome. Anyway. Yeah. All right. That's a good start. Yeah. So I'll let you know when something else cool happens. Have you seen us yet? He's still strutting, but he's definitely seen us. But he's still strutting. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. There's a couple of them there. It just feels right. Just let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see any others? I could before we got through this opening. There's a couple other shutters to the left of them. Things are going pretty swell for us. We've seen, this is I guess the first turkey. We just saw a hog back there. It was just right across the property line. I don't know how many different turkeys we've heard, but. I don't know, it seems like a lot. A few different groups. There's a lot of sign we're finding. Tracks, strut marks. Could you see them very well too? Yeah. yeah. Ted and I's first Rio Grande. Mm -hmm. First time we got to harvest some with our eyes. I think we're going to kill some hogs tonight too. It's super cool out. We can go ahead and head back and go try to slip in. Or I think we can kill some hogs. Slip and slide in. Mm -hmm. I like the sounds of that. <laughs> he told us when we got him out, headed out of here, he said, if you ain't baiting, you're waiting. <laughs> he's, he's just smiling near to here. In the hot box tonight. At least the wind's kind of Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. 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 Crack that door open. Of course, <laughs> Tunneled right through here. We've been in Texas for what, three days now? Yeah, this is the third day. First day of actually doing, really seriously trying to do some oh, sort of thing. Now Nick, that's a whitetail, okay? We can't kill it, one, okay? <laughs> that's one of the only things we can't kill. Whitetail? Yeah, the feeder boys. Last night we went to Nick's lease because his dad wanted us to do a little scout. It yep. opens up on Saturday. It's, and that's, you know, a couple days from now. And we just heard and saw, really saw a wild amount of turkeys. It's yeah. like we were, we were just pretty much sitting there, cruised around the property, checked a bunch of different cameras, and we were hoping to maybe kill a hog or two. But we ended up just seeing a bunch of turkeys and hearing a bunch of turkeys. It was just perfect weather. They were yeah. gobbling nonstop. We had, From the time we got there till dark, they, there was nonstop gobbling. We drove up on a group of long beards. And then we were sitting feeder for hogs, had a long or a shutter come up there. And we had four of them walk right down the road past us and they roosted around on top of where his truck was at so we made a big loop around to try not to spook them and then there's two more long beards roosted like where nick has literally never seen turkeys in 20 years roosted yeah so i think looking good at the andrews uh, <laughs> ranch at the andrews lease i think we we put our eyes on 10 different long beards and heard two or three others that we didn't see so his old man will be out there this weekend, and I'm sure you'll hunt through with him at some point this season. But we're at a buddy of mine's uh, ranch, just a little ways down the road. He said he had a bunch of javelinas and hogs and and some axis stoves using this one area. We obliged and we're in here, so we're open to killing anything. We're gonna kill a javelina if we can, and hogs, and hopefully a couple axis deer, at least one. That'd be way cool. <laughs> and then here in a couple days, we're gonna try 
grand at some Texas public land. It's pretty, yeah. there ain't much of it, but we're gonna give it a go. So yeah. we are gonna have perfect weather for this trip. It seems like seems like it could be way hotter. And as far as what Nick's told us, like <laughs> spring is like last year. You guys know it's really rough drought where everything was just completely brown. Yeah. There's nothing green. And this year, I mean, it's way ahead of what it was compared to what oh, it yeah, it's it's prime right it's now. It's beautiful. I mean, there's all kinds of different flowers. What is that blue one? That's your state flower. No, it's a blue bonnet. The blue bonnet. Yep. There's all sorts. And of all those red ones. Those are all Indian paintbrushes out there. Pretty cool. I mean, turkey had anything, anything like this. So I'm excited to do that here in a couple days. We better keep our eyes on the feeder though. Here. Keep Spike. your keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> We're getting the old Texas experience tonight. <laughs> oh, 100%. Exotics, whitetails, hogs, javelinas, turkeys. Longest beards, grandest of birds. I mean, this is just a game rich environment. Looks like he's eating that corn. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Oh, there's a head right in front of us. Oh, yeah. Right, right here. <laughs> She's on the run now. She said, come here, daddy. How neat is that? Those are the axes out across the field. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. We got axes to put down. We could. <laughs> Should we shoot them? I don't see the axes, dude. They're going to talk. Okay, I got them, I got them. I mean, surely they're gonna come in here, right? I mean, you would think they might get a little further left and we might be able to see them better. We probably ought to just get ready, Jake. Is it? You yeah. want to try to crank them over there is what you're saying? Yeah. And right here. Yeah. I'm not on them yet. Okay, I'm on them now. Those are white tails right there. deer coming in and out of here non-stop and our buddy thought that he only had three long beards on this property but we just had five at 30 yards strutting around and gobbling <laughs> one two three four five there was three of them come out right here on this edge where they were going about to leave the field and i just mouth yelped to them and they come right here at 10 yards and they're standing there strutting and then the other two didn't like it so they come over here and just start running each other around I think at one point we probably had seven or eight deer at the feeder, uh -huh. seen two or three ends. And we saw the axis stoves that were trying to kill, but they skirted the field and, and got out in this mesquite flat. We're hoping that eventually they'll filter back out this way. All the whitetails kind of left. So. There's like eight or ten whitetails under the feeder when they come through, so we're hoping they circle back. I think it's important to note, too, that season is open, but Chase just isn't hunting these turkeys here so we gave him a little calling <laughs> just just to entice him over here to get a close with that's pretty cool and count ourselves a little bit just to you know get I the mean, blood pumping i think technically in texas you could, you, we could have killed them with the we rifles. have tags we could have killed them with the rifles but we're after axes axes and hogs maybe a javelina but yeah chase isn't hunting them he's just a, he's not seeing the numbers he likes to see here so and he knows his neighbor just across the creek already killed two long beards so he's just not gonna hunt this property, which is really cool. But it looks great, like it, they should have a good hatch here. I mean, there's yeah. great cover, brood rear, and You said the hatch hasn't like. been great here in the last couple of years, and that's why yeah. we're this not seeing a whole lot of jakes and yeah. young turkeys. This year should be really good. And this is on a thousand acre piece of property here. So it seems like he's got one flock for this thousand acres. It's a pretty consistent thing that you deal with down here as far yeah. as just like a drought really messes with the hatch if they have no cover to nest or yep. raise turkeys in it's going to be pretty tough on them because there's yep. a lot of varmints and predators around here it seems and then when we're in drought we don't get the grasshopper crop like we usually do and i think that's a really big food source for these young poults when they're you know trying to get to where they can survive but been a pretty cool evening so far hopefully the max has popped back out yeah. for us. i mean the, the feeder just kind of concentrates everything yeah. right in front of you it's definitely, I mean, it's just... It's the culture and the way things are done. There's a hen under the feeder now, too. But there is opportunity to do all kinds of stuff that, you know, you don't yeah. have to, like, where we're going to be turkey hunting here in a couple of days. That's not the case. And then yeah. Chase's buddy, he's 
guiding for what? Free, free range all that. And he guides free range elk hunts in West Texas. Literally about anything can show up at the speeder. <laughs> yeah. No, you have, we have no idea what's going to pop up. We've seen about all of it. Yeah. Hopefully not. Yeah. There's a big surprise. I hope there is. All right, so Chase and our other buddy Reese are hunting down a ways from us a little bit, a few hundred yards. And we saw those axis does feed through the backside of this field and go to this mesquite flat. And they fed. He just texted me. We heard him shoot. He just texted me that they killed one of them axis does. We're on the scoreboard. They were walking in the road, and I was like, all right, I'm just going to go kill one real quick. I'm just going to go sneak in the river and kill one. So he did say. I grabbed the gun. He did say. I, I kind of feel bad about this. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. like, I kind of feel bad about this because like I'm being selfish. But then no, again, I, was like, I just want to eat one. Yeah, honestly, and, I, and then I was just like, hang on, these got loose from somebody else. We might as well just kill them. Who, who cares who can kill them? Yeah. And so I was right like, on. Hey, that's a hunt. Yeah. Hey, let's go get some taters and salad and call her good. They call it good. Cooking with Nick coming in. All right, so we got this fresh Axis backstrap right here, and we're gonna cook it up on the grill with the pineapple marinade and the jalapeno butter. But Chase here is the one that killed her. What happened? Like, where did these axes come from? So I'm pretty sure they got out from somebody. They obviously got out from a high fence. Uh -huh. And we're on a river, so they're traveling down the river. Puts you boys in the spot, but they kind of. You kind of. I kind of intercepted them and kind of yeah. uh, took over the game. So I went ahead and shot one, but we don't want them in there with the whitetails because they're obviously competing for resources for yeah. them. So we'd rather have them. I'd rather have big whitetails than growing axes. People probably think I'm crazy, but so yeah, we did good. There's what two more running around. Y'all said y'all saw. Three. Yeah, there's we two more three. for sure running around, and, and they're an invasive species, so they'll kind of just take over and bully your whitetails around. Yeah. Since they're an exotic here in Texas, you can just kill them any time of year. It doesn't matter whatever you want to shoot them with. You just can kill them, and it's awesome because they taste phenomenal. So we're gonna get on some of that this evening. I never had it, so I'm looking forward to eating some of it. It is so good. Then this one was a little bit smaller than normal, but. She's gonna eat so good. It'll be fire. So we're about to have this party. <laughs> It'll be good. I can't believe I just said that. You got here the heart. Mm-hmm. That was a can of it. It's gonna fry it in butter and garlic and put some salt and pepper on it, probably. So right here I've got the makings for my jalapeno butter, and it's just sliced up fresh jalapenos, one stick of butter, some minced garlic, and Uncle Chris's steak seasoning in there i don't have an uncle chris it's just what it's called <laughs> so if you've seen the cooking video that's on instagram of the venison grilled venison with jalapeno butter that's where you'll see this but anyways i'm about to throw this on the grill and just kind of set it off over here to the side and let it kind of do its thing Had some sinew on the bottom, so. Where's the toothpicks? A little charred. Yeah, I mean, one of those. Sweet. And it's tender. And it is tender. It's different. It's good. That's pineapple juice, huh? It almost has mm -hmm. a little pork taste to it. Like it does. It kind of does, yeah. Just get right in it. You just get right in it. Let me get one of them pinos set on top of it. Oh yeah, makes good. We may not even need sides tonight. We might just eat a whole half of meat. This is what, that's, this is like when you're at the deer lease and it's like you know, you know it's really good. It's good. Well, it, it just it never leaves where you cut it. <laughs> it doesn't need it, but it doesn't hurt it. And we just did kill this thing two or three hours. Ago. That also helps. That also really helps. All right, now I gotta try one without. I gotta try one without filet. What's the best? Which one is the best? I like it with the jalapeno butter on it. Oh, the jalapeno butter's got to be on there. It's kind of just a staple at this point. All right, so that's going to do that. The end of this video, if you will. We've got all this Axis backstrap cooked up, and jalapeno butter and whatnot, and uh, we're about to jump in on this and get after it. Thanks for checking this video out. Hopefully, the next video you're going to see, we're going to be chasing turkeys here in Texas. So stick around, and maybe we'll have something like that. Other than that, get out of here.